check out today's guest. Quite colorful, loves the warm weather, don't we all? Joining us for Critters Uncaged today from Miller Park Zoo in Bloomington, it's education specialist Shannon Reedy, as well as our buddy Queso. Yeah, yes. So tell me about Queso. Oh, uh, isn't she gorgeous? She, oh, it's a she. It's yes. a she. I she know. Is. Isn't she wonderful? Well, she is a Pueblan milk snake. So she is a desert creature. Desert scrublands down in, um, well, they're named for the Puebla state of Mexico. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh, she is coming to say hi to she you. Just, she just everywhere. She's very excited <laughs> about things in life in general. So we like to let her have her time and, and so her space. Yeah. It's not like we're going to be seeing any of these out in the cornfields of central Illinois. For sure not, no. Um, we do have, uh, you know, there are milk snakes, various different kinds of milk snakes. This one's Pueblin. And this one is actually a mimic of a coral snake, which is a venomous snake in that same area. So they have the same colors and the same bands around their body, but they're in a different order. So, so queso is non-venomous. Queso is non-venomous. Okay. Yeah, but she looks just like the venomous snakes that live in that area, and um, that's just a way to defend herself because the predators aren't looking at the, uh, the... The folks who live there, they made up a rhyme, and it says, red touches black, friend to jack. So... Red okay. touches black, that's an okay snake. Red touches yellow, dangerous fellow. Oh. So the people say it, but the predators don't know it. They're, they're not that wise. <laughs> they don't know the rhyme, so wow. they just say, no, thank you, and they avoid it, <laughs> which is so great, right? Is she full grown? You like, know, she is an adult-sized snake. Um, it was, she's seven years old now. When we got her, she was the size of a pencil. She was just a little teeny really? little, yeah, little nugget. And it was <laughs> awesome. And now she's an adult size. She still has some growing she can do, though. She is so shiny. Mm, yeah, Like, gorgeous. just very shiny, like around her face and mm -hmm. her, um, her They feather. have very flat, I know, oh, honey. Oh, oh, she excited. don't like that. Oh, she's excited. <laughs> so very flat scales that are really shiny. They're just super small, super flat, and that makes them really shiny and almost iridescent. Yeah. Wow. Well, she is beautiful. Queso, where would that name come from? Well, milk snake. I kind of wanted a dairy product. <laughs> We talked about, you know, okay. 2%, like 50 cent kind of thing, <laughs> but that wasn't really going to fly. She so looks like we went case. with the spicy, jazzy. Yes, I love that. Milky. Okay. There well, <laughs> other people who like queso, maybe some seniors in our community. Oh, man. So we've seniors got some. Love queso. <laughs> so what's happening? <laughs> well, we do an active senior tour every second Wednesday of the month. We start at 8 30 in the morning, which is an hour before the zoo opens. So we come in and we just see what's going on that day before really some of the keepers have been around in some of the areas. Um, it's, it's really interesting to get to watch that opening of the zoo and also um, just get a look at the different, some of the things we don't ordinarily get to see. So yeah. we like to take a segment of the zoo and just get in deep and, and go look at it. So this Talk is open it. to any senior citizen. Yep. Come 55 on down. 55 and over. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. It's just $5 to come in and then you get admission for the day. Nice. All right. I know a lot of people are counting down until the Olympics this oh, month, yeah. but you've counting got your up. own version. We do. We started this a few years ago, and <laughs> it's our Zookeeper Olympics. Um, so there are various activities that our guests can participate in, different Olympic-type activities. Um, and then there is a Keeper versus Junior Zookeeper um, uh, competition. What events are you doing? Trophy. Well, I'm off that work that <laughs> So I'm technically neither one of those things. I'm in education and we don't You just didn't want to show up the other well, zookeepers. It's true. I mean, I was a keeper, so I told yeah. you. I, I, I really have that, that goat right? putt putt, the goat poop putt putt thing down. I mean, that's really oh. my jam. Yeah. So oh my goodness. I'm good at that. I'm not bragging, but that's what I'm good at. <laughs> now, um, yeah, but there's a traveling trophy and everything, so they they do the competition. And, and so people so can come and watch. They just come and watch while, oh during the goodness. middle of the day. It's, kind of, it's a fun thing. I bet yeah, it it's is. It's a lot of fun. Well, there is so much happening at the Miller Park Zoo there in Bloomington. And thanks for bringing Queso to come say hi. Always our pleasure. Oh, she's so cute. Hey, if you want to learn more about what's happening at the Miller Park Zoo, ooh, that's a cool animal there on your Facebook page, there's a look at their website, and you can learn all all about it by connecting with them there or on our Facebook page.